Any questions before we move on? Anything on it? Yes? Yeah, yeah? You, you do that like you don't believe in your hand. <laughs> you do this, and I said yes, and you're like, what, what? <laughs> it works, it works. I'm a real boy, it works. <laughs> Um, so we're very, very sad that you're leaving the Daily Show. Um, yeah. But the question I had was like, when Jon Stewart was handing it over to you, yeah. there was a whole process. There was so much going on with the whole transfer. Have you thought of what the process is going to be? Do you have any candidates? What are you thinking? So, it's, first of all, thank you for being sad, but I, I would honestly <laughs> implore you to be, to be, it's like, you know, it's, it's like, it's happy. It's like a... You know, like, you know those funerals where people are dancing, you know? <laughs> Think of it like that. It's like, yeah, I'm in the coffin, but I'm still alive. <laughs> you know, so, no, what I mean is like, it, it's, you know, I, I truly believe this. I, I don't think, I don't think any goodbye at a good time is a good goodbye. There's always gonna be, that's why people cry at airports when they say goodbye to their families. It's like, you, you're, you're sad, but you're also happy, you know? Um, so thank you for that. Um, and yes, you, 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 you're right, you know, uh, any time where there's a transition in a, in a show, there's a huge process, and I am aware of that because I, you know, I took over from Jon Stewart, which was a monumental task, and I understand how hard it was for myself and for the people who helped make this thing happen with me, because I don't do this thing alone. You know, there's so many people who help put the show together, so many people who make sure you're seeing everything that you're seeing, so many people who help me, you know, put my vision on the page, people who give me great ideas, people who inspire me to create cool things. So it is a huge process, and so that's why I, I tell you that I am going to leave so that it's not like an Irish goodbye, <laughs> you know? Because it would be weird if I was just like on a Thursday, just like, bye everybody, and then Monday comes, you're like, where's Trevor? And then you just see me on Instagram sipping something on the beach. <laughs> it was like, what, me? No, so, so, so yeah, so the goal is that, you know, none of us are left in a place where we feel like it was instant or we feel like it was, uh, it was a surprise. You know what I mean? The initial word is always a surprise. The initial announcement or, I guess, any, any moment like that is a surprise. But, uh, but, yeah, I think the joy in life is, you know, finding ebbs and flows. You know, it's the moment when kids leave home. It's, it's the moment when they have to move back in because their thing didn't work. It's... Uh... <laughs> Maybe I'll come back because my student debt will kick my ass. You never know. Um, no, but for real. I, I, and I think that's, that's going to be the joy is, is finding out how we do it, how best we do it, and then, you know, and I, I just hope that you will keep coming back, you know, because I remember the big thing that kept me going was how many people who came and supported me who either didn't know me or knew me from other countries, who gave me love, who were the propulsion that helped me to create a show when it was really hard to do it. And so I hope, I hope you'll come back, and I hope you'll support the next person, and I hope you'll, you know? So thank you for that. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. What have you missed out on doing for the last seven years that you're looking forward to doing? What have I missed out on doing that I haven't done for the last seven years? It's weird because I don't think of the last seven years as one time period. You know, I, there was the beginning of The Daily Show, which was taking over after Jon Stewart, which was insanely difficult. I'm always gonna be grateful for that period because of the opportunity I was given, the, the amount of learning I got to experience, um, the skills I had to hone and craft, and so that period is very different to me to, for instance, like the Trump years that followed, you know? Because when, when I was taking over, I was like, this is so, this is so crazy, oh, what, what, who, John Boehner, who's this person, what, what is, what's happening, who are these people? And then Trump came, I was like, oh, I know this, <laughs> you know? And then that period was different. And then, and then COVID hits, and then we're all locked in our apartments or our houses, and then that felt like a different period. And then we had the coming out of COVID, period. that felt like a different period. So for me, in a weird way, I feel like I've been on four different daily shows, you know, and now we've gotten back to this point. But to answer the question, I think the thing I've missed most, and it, it happened most in the pandemic, and I know I'm not alone in this, is like, I, I missed people. I missed two years of people's lives. You know, I missed two years of eating food in South Africa. I missed two years of, um, you know, traveling with my family and friends. I missed two years. You know, there's one thing in life you never get back, and that's time. You can, you can never get it back. You know, people say things like, oh, time is money. No, it's not. Time is time. That's all time is. You can't get more of it. You can't cheat it. You can't... No one has figured out how to do it. It's time. And so what I really lost during that seven years was time. Now, not to The Daily Show, but to what happened in the world. And so because of that, I now find myself excited at getting back to doing a few... Of, of, you know, the things that I did around the world, which I really loved. I, I would spend, like, 
a week in Toronto, Canada. I would spend two weeks in Germany learning how to speak German and doing shows. I, you know, like I said, I went to India recently and I loved it, just learning how to speak Hindi. And you know, I'm like, I'm gonna go back and try and learn more. And those are, those are the things that are a little bit harder to do. And so I, I, uh, I wanted to be in a place where, you know, I think it's cool when the host of the show is like 100% here. And, and I think it's fair to you as an audience, it's fair to me to, 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 to believe that. So those are the things I missed. And, um, and I think like everybody, post pandemic, I started asking myself, all right, what am I trying to do more of? What is my alignment? What am I trying to experience? Doesn't mean I'm ungrateful for anything, but the, the, there is something that we have if we are lucky enough to have it, and it is the time to do. And if you do have that luxury, and if you do have the opportunity, then, then why not? And so, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to living a little more, expressing a little more, growing a little more, and, uh, and trying new things. That's probably it. Yeah.